In this video, I'll give you an overview of SRP Player's interface and features. And before we get started, I'd like to talk a little bit about what SRP Player is. This software is a CAM software used for Roland's MDX series mills and does a great job in simplifying a traditionally complex process. This program is used as a basic layout program and toolpath or strategy making program in bringing your files from object to reality using these products. To get started here, uh, let's look front and center and we have our viewport. This is where we can view our model and workpiece to assess our different stages within the process. In the bottom left hand corner, we have our axes in relation to the machine. So the Z axis being our up and down or vertical or Y being uh, in and out of the machine or a feed, and then our X being left and right if we are in front of the machine, just so you have a bearing on what we're looking at here. Below that, we have a status of our machine and accessories. So I have the MDX50 with the automatic tool changer and the rotary axis. Note the red dashed line down the center of the viewport. That just indicates uh, the rotary axis is present and that's uh, the position in which it will be rotating. In the upper corner, we have a number of different tool options from saving our current job, changing our viewport option to wireframe or shaded. This can help with various stages of the setup. And then we have a few manipulation tools, including uh, pan, rotate, zoom, and a few quick snaps to different positions which we can view our model. Above that, we have a file menu where we can load or save models, preview our cutting, or define uh, any preferences within our interface here. We also have a view tab where we can view some of these options for our model visibility as well as uh, screen positions. Under the options tab, we have a number of options to define our tool and material libraries, uh, make some minor modifications to our parameters, uh, configure the magazine, and even some light operations like surfacing or specific hole drilling. To the right of that, we have the Help tab. Uh, we can find out information about the program's version, as well as the content section, which is very powerful. I've used this a lot to learn about different features of the program. So if you type anything into the search here, it will pull up various different articles relating to that subject. I highly recommend looking into this if you're looking to get the most out of the program. Continuing on with the workflow, uh, SRP's setup process really resides in these five simple steps along the right-hand side. First step, we determine the model size and orientation using these various tools. In the second step, we answer a few simple questions about the milling type and characteristics. These are used to determine the tool strategies and even the tools themselves, which will be recommended in this case. There are a number of different workpiece or material setup options, which we can configure here, and even to to suspend this model within that workpiece. Step three is really the heart of this process where we define our material type, the workpiece dimensions, and create that toolpath. And the toolpath is really generating the instructions for our mill to receive this job and how it's going to go about removing material to reveal that model. By default, we can create this toolpath and the program will recommend all of our given settings and tools. Alternatively, we can go into the edit option and make any adjustments that we may want to make. Moving along to step four, we have a preview option. Now this allows us to uh, perform a rendering of our given model in order for us to see what we can anticipate after the milling operation is complete. Now this is a great step to catch any unusual uh, features in the model before investing the material and time into this operation. Note that if there's any irregularities 
or things that need to be improved. There are a number of uh, quick suggestions here that can help out in many cases. We also have an estimated cutting time on this one. Lastly, we have our step five, where we essentially start cutting this object on the mill. Uh, in addition to the start cutting option, we also have a reminder to configure our magazine. Uh, in, sense, in essence, we're looking to place the correct tool in the correct magazine position. One nice feature about the Perform Cutting tab is that once you initialize that Start Cutting, it will give you a reminder to uh, set your origins on the machine to make sure that you have enough tool exposed out of the chuck. And it's really just a great reminder for both new and experienced users. So I hope this quick overview of the SRP player interface and features helps you get started with the program.